sipping on that, sipping on that. Coffee with Fire Beta! Welcome to the newest episode of Jade. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Today I have the pleasure of two of my friends making coffee. Jimmy here, actually a former barista. True, I am a former barista. I have to admit, I did not know that before coming here, but now that even authenticates and validates my video even more, so. What does coffee mean to you? I mean, coffee means a lot to me. When I make coffee, it's definitely a ritual I do every morning. I don't just put it in a coffee maker and press go. I like to do pour overs, that way I'm a part of the process. Like, I can smell the coffee. Okay, and like, sense. yeah, take a sip. Oh, oh that's very nice. I mean, it makes me just a part of every single aspect of the process and helps connect me to my cup. And I know that every single cup I have is made with love. So it sounds like a lot of mindfulness, which oh, definitely. is definitely related to Ayurveda. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It seems like your connection with coffee in the morning is not only ritualistic, but it's helping you connect back to your soul. Right. Yourself and you realize, wow, this is something I enjoy and I want to Doing every day. It's like exactly. part of your practice. Sadhana. 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 <laughs> Jimmy here is actually going to show us. Jimmy's going to show his own style. Especially in how to do a pour over. It will really connect you with your cups. I'd recommend it. First, you definitely want to wet your filters. Getting away all the paper particles don't really taste the best. And then you want to add your beans in there. Brine it up first. You don't want to add more beans in. But then you do the bloom process. This really brings out a lot of the flavor. It gets some gases out of the coffee. So you just pour a little bit of water in there to wet the beans. And give it about 20 seconds or so. And I always use a circular method when I'm pouring it. it keeps the water flowing through the beans. This is for all of you who might use Keurigs every morning. You might want to try this little version of making coffee. Chemex over Keurig every time. And then when you do your first pour, you just kind of keep that circular motion going. And if you're using a Chemex, you can fill it pretty much right up to the brim, which you're going to have to keep an eye on it. This whole process should take about five minutes or so. Sit back, relax, and smell the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pouring. You want to talk about coffee masala? Yeah, so part of the Ayurvedic Institute, we have been introduced to coffee masala. Jackie, would you like to talk about why should we put this in our coffee? Sure. Well, I'll actually start by saying that Jimmy actually was going to see a student practitioner at the Ayurvedic Institute, and you know, they noticed that his pillow was high, mm -hmm. and he shared that he was drinking coffee every day, maybe more than once a day. A couple times a day. So, <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> they being the amazing students that they are, they didn't want to take away what means a lot to him. So they introduced us to the, well him to the coffee masala. So what this does is it tones down the effects of coffee. One of the qualities is sharp or ticha, and this will basically just tone that down. And it might even tone down the um, subtle or sushma quality. So when you add your masala, add about half a teaspoon in. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Yeah, for any um, vegans listening out there who might have a pitta property or vikruti, coconut milk is good. And I personally love having some milk in any of my drinks as well as oat milk. Yeah. Coconut's cooling, right? Right. And so is oat milk. Yeah. It's also good for pitta and vata. As you guys probably don't know, mm -hmm. I Vata 2, Pitta 3, Kapha 2, so I am Pitta predominant. I'm a Vata 2, Pitta 3, Kapha 1, so Pitta predominant. And I also am Vata 2, Pitta 3, and Kapha 2. So interestingly enough, you know when we have three different people together, we obviously have to tone them down. We do. <laughs> and that's that. Finger guns. Whenever we think of stimulants, coffee is a stimulant. Pitta gets aggravated. Pitta is that fire, that hot, that sharp, all those frustrating qualities. <laughs> that is pitta. It's easily provoked whenever you choose to drink alcohol, or people smoke, or people drink coffee excessively, you know, like in two cups a day, like this rose. <laughs> in order to tone that down, coffee masala is that. Uh, 
that pacifier. Yeah, so it's a great way to still get your coffee for those coffee lovers out there, but just tone down some of the qualities and effects. You know, something we were talking about earlier today, we're in the heat, you know, it's summertime. You gotta think about the season as well. Coffee is, is heating, it's ushna. So having that quality during the summer, which is also heating. Right, you're gonna even attract more of that Ushna quality. Right. Therefore, you're gonna feel like you wanna go stomp on somebody outside <laughs> and you know gotta punch Jimmy in the face because hey, I am so hot! Give yeah. it! No right. coffee and driving. Road rage is real. Yeah, I don't get that. Don't do it in the desert, please. Trust me. Oh, a very good way to tell if your kids might be high is if you are craving cold things like ice drinks or ice cream. So that might be a sign that you might want to lay back on the coffee. Now this brings out the topic of iced coffee. Contrary to what you may believe, if you think that drinking iced coffee is somehow going to cool you down in the summertime in the heat, it's actually suppressing your digestive fire. So if you see my previous video on digestion, and how we should not drink iced water. The same principle goes for any iced drinks because we produce ama from that. Maybe once in a blue moon or once in a rare moon, okay, I'm gonna drink that iced coffee, but... Iced latte. Iced latte. But that iced latte is something you love. You don't want to deprive yourself from it. Exactly. You obviously know pizza's bad for you, but hey, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna eat pizza right. anytime. Now you can have the best of both worlds. I feel like it's about knowing, having that knowledge, but also having that non-attachment to these things. Everything in moderation. Back to the qualities of coffee, we can now talk about how it affects the doshas. Talking about vada first, coffee does have that sukshma quality, mm -hmm. the subtle. That will aggravate vada. Again, coffee masala can help with that. Yeah, because coffee masala has nutmeg, cardamom, and cinnamon, all three help bring down vata, yeah. the airy quality gets toned down. Switching over to pitta, coffee is obviously similar like I was saying before, so it's aggravate that pitta up and get that shooting up straight away. So if you know you're pitta dominant in your constitution, you want to be as careful as possible in knowing that, okay, maybe I'm just going to drink that one cup of coffee today and I'm not going to make any more, or I'm going to limit myself to a certain number of cups per week and that's it. And I'm like, case closed. Right. Dun, dun. And again, it's increasing for pitta, for its ushna or hot qualities, along with tikshna or sharp. And then for kapha, kapha, kapha I would say. Kapha, 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 kapha. Or kapha. It's pretty easy to remember, right? It's for kapha. <laughs> Coffee really isn't bad for kapha. Kapha can be manda, which is soul and slow. They can be sluggish. Coffee can really get them going for the day in the morning. One thing to keep in mind is to, if you're gonna drink coffee when you wake up in the morning, you're not gonna wanna drink the coffee right away. You're gonna wanna do your bathroom ritual, wash your mouth, and then have a glass of water. If you drink coffee right away, that can mess with your adrenals, is that correct? I'm sure you will. <laughs> get some lines under your eyes. So yeah, great stimulant for kapha to get them going for the day. While we're talking about doshas and coffee, I'll just share a little bit about my experience from last summer when I didn't know so much Ayurveda as I do now. So Jimmy and I went on a road trip throughout the United States and we were going to all these national parks and we were drinking his coffee from his coffee shop that he used to work at. At least once a day, maybe at three least. times a day, every single day. Right, coffee every day. We were outside all day, in every day. In the heat, day. in the sunshine. This was midsummer. Not to mention we were cooking by fires. I had such bad eczema, redness, and inflammation of the skin, so itchy, and it really covered my body. This is a classic example of pitta going into the circulatory system and rasa and rasa. Datu. After learning the Ayurveda, I'm cured for the most part, like 98%, and that's only because I still do things that maybe I shouldn't do, which is called Ramnagaran. Wow, I could not have said this any better. Thank you so much, Jackie, and thank you guys for sharing your story. I want to add coffee and salad anytime that I drink coffee now. They don't heat up, and I say forever. And you know, Jimmy, you can join us. Sing along or 
Yeah, he does. He was singing earlier. He does. He's just a, you know, cafe shy. He's like, I just make the coffee. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna sip on this coffee that Julia has made. And for any of us, meaning me, and I know JD wants some, I'm making pita pacifying tea alternative to coffee. This pita pacifying tea that <laughs> <laughs> that I make includes lemon balm, rose, nettle. It has some licorice and dandelion root, fennel and coriander. Normally I add mint, but I'm actually out of mint. Jackie, are all of these herbs pita pacifying by themselves? Every single herb in that tea is pita pacifying. Oh, that's perfect. Now that you guys know that, you guys can even use some of the ingredients. You don't have to use all of those as a blend. I'm sure that her tea is delicious as it is created. If you're looking for instant mixes, you can use Dandy Blend, which I've heard so many people use. You just have to be careful about that because beetroot and beets are very heating. So again, that will provoke pitta in the body. And if you are pitta, prop roti, or big roti, or if it's summertime, and you're interested in this dandelion blend, instead, you can just drink plain dandelion tea. And depending on who you are, you might need something quick and you can use it tea bag, um, like if you're at work or something. But for the environment, you can always get loose leaf. You can bring your jar to a store and get it in bulk and create no waste whatsoever and um, do your own le loose leaf dandelion blend at home. So with that being said, yeah. you know, I like that there's spices added in the masala and that gives it a different flavor to the coffee. And for me, coffee is an acquired taste. I make my coffee black and I really enjoyed that. And when I started using the coffee masala, I would only use it during the week before work. And I would give myself one cup on the weekend to do it just flat. But after I've been drinking it long enough, I really like the coffee masala and I like it in all their cups. It's really yummy. Good. You gotta like it. Yay. Yay. Oh, um, sweeteners. So, I like my coffee black, but if I did want to make it a little bit sweeter, what should I do? What kind of sweetener should I use? One thing we can use is maple syrup, and maple syrup would help tone down and pacify that pitta. Yeah, maple syrup is more cooling. That's really good for if you have a bit of coffee tea, or bigger tea, or if it's summertime, to add some sweet taste to your coffee. On the other hand, as many of you may or may not know, if you're a kapha, what do you want to put in your coffee? Honey? Yeah! Yay! <laughs> and just as a reminder, please don't add it when it's burning hot. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's a little cooled down. When you add honey to anything hot, you're actually putting poison in your system. So the honey will denature instead of helping our bodies. Yeah. That's really good to know. I had no idea that was a real thing. Why is honey good for kapha? It's because it does a lake enough, which is scraping. Technique to making it, mm. but the beans definitely play a lot of part of it. 
play a lot and a part of it. I obviously need my coffee. A big part of it, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Right. Maybe, you know, pour him another cup, Jack. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, this this know boy's got to sharpen his intelligence. His pit is a little loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, are you calling me dumb? <laughs> From an Ayurvedic standpoint. <laughs> For now. <laughs> so, bro, you still need another cup? Like, what's going on? Like, yeah, I gotta work tonight. I think oh, I might yeah. need another cup. You know how the Uber drives be, right? Those deliveries. Jimmy, oh. maybe instead of another cup, you can have some pita pacifying tea. Oh. You know. Probably smart. Yeah. Would you like some too? I would love some. Okay. But Jackie, I have to ask you, since his pit is already a little on the lower side, do you think this is gonna make him more dumb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on guys, come on. I didn't say it. <laughs> and then we ended there. No, so yeah. it. <laughs> Cheerio, Jackie-o. And honestly, it would be better if I had more time to see it longer. <laughs> it's amazing. Chill. Sure. And we are out. Follow that bus. Um, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give them a thumbs up because they did a fantastic job today with me. I'm so happy both of them were with me. Thank you, Chidi. Um, Thank you. And we had a wonderful experience making coffee together with Ayurveda. We made coffee, and now we're dancing. And hey, it's fun, so why don't you try it at your home? Okay. Happy <laughs> Blackie. Have you any wool? Have you ever made coffee like this? Coffee like this? Yeah, yeah. Friends? From the Ayurvedic Institute, and then we <laughs> did a musical of drinking coffee together. Coffee together. Come on, Jimmy, where are you? Making <laughs> <laughs> <Drinking> coffee, man. <laughs> Catch you guys soon. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. Nice day. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.